Hi, and welcome to Workflow Warriors. I'm Rob, and today we're going to talk about how you can fix a corrupted SD card when you're recording ISO tracks with the Allen & Heath CQ12T and the 18T. Now, any of you who've worked with these mixers, they're awesome. I love them. However, the ISO recording, where it allows you to record all of the inputs and a whole bunch of outputs onto a little SD card, is a little bit problematic because if you turn it off while it's still recording, it will frag the card. However, there's a really easy way to fix it using free software, Audacity. So as you can see from the top down, I'm recording this. I'm, the only way I'm recording this audio for this tutorial is on the Allen & Heath. So if I can't recover this audio, I'm going to have to shoot the whole thing over again. So as you can see, uh, I've actually had this set up for my podcast, Between Two Pints. I'm recording ISO 1, or input 1 and input 2, and a few of the outputs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off. Because what happens a lot of the times is you're over here in this, and you've like just wrapped a big recording or something and you don't notice that little red thing up there and you just turn it off. So here we go. I'm going to turn it off and then we're going to move over to my computer and we're going to try to fix it. I've taken the SD card out of the Allen and Heath and I've loaded it into my card reader on my computer. I'm in Windows. Now uh, online there's this great website here. This uh, right here tells you how to recover all this and it goes through the settings. I'll go through it and my experience is really quick. But the first thing you want to do is you want to go into the files that were actually corrupted. So here we have the MT008 and you can tell they're corrupted because they all have zeros. And that as a person in post is a terrifying thing to see. So what you want to do is you want to go all the way back up here to this drive and you need to run a check disk on it. So if we go here, uh, oh no, I'm gonna need to go up one more. Oh yeah, look at all the games I play. Uh, so what I wanna go in here is the properties. This is Windows, I have no idea how to do it on a Mac. So you wanna check the error checking, scan and repair drive, repair now, boom. All right, so let's take a look in here. Now I've never seen that tool damage or lose data, but if you look now, we actually have a bunch of data here. So what we want to do is we want to copy these files over to our hard drive. So I've got the project I'm working on here. And we're just going to put it in here. So now I had, uh, I did this earlier, but uh, the video quality and sound was terrible because you could hear my mouse rubbing. So I'm just, I just did this recording part again. So let me just move this all out of the way. So we copy this in here. And then the next step we want to do is uh, we want to load up Audacity, which is free. And if you don't have it, you should have it. I love this thing. It's been around forever. And what we want to do with Audacity is we're going to go here. We're going to import raw data. And then what we want to go into here is here. Now, I'm only going to do this first one. And the settings are quite specific. So I'm going to put the settings in the details of the video. But somewhere to look is like right here. And if we see here this image, so it's 24 bit PCM, little Endian, one channel, 512, and there is a trick to this. So let's do 24 bit, little Endian, and 512. But now they say in this picture 96,000. That didn't work for me on the CQ12T. I actually, if you look in the notes here, the other option is 4,800. Now I did 90, 96,000, and it made me sound like a chipmunk which is great. I'm sure everyone watches these on double speed like me. So that totally works. But as you can see here, this is cool. Here we go. And if you wanted to see, this is what it would look like if I just pulled it directly in. Yeah, it errors, right? So now here, if we listen to this, T and CQ18T, Allen and Heath, boom, it's beautiful. It's happy. I'm happy. You're happy. We got this done pretty quick. So that is how you recover data from a corrupted SD card on the CQ12T and 18T digital soundboards while it is powered down while recording, whether you turn that off or maybe somebody trips on the cable.